When we think about the show, we was thinking, let's start with something really old. My first works in the 70s, you know, related to performance, and then look into something which has done, just recently done, after the, my experience in MoMA. The first room you see here, I wanted to experience a situation when I am out of control, you know, mentally and out of control physically. So the first came written too. In the first part, I took the pills. The first pill is given to catatonic patients. So I took this pill just on my normal, you know, healthy body in the front of the public. And the fact was that I really had uncontrollable reaction on my muscles and my body while my mind was very clear and controlled. The second pill I took, it was the pill just of opposite effect when the mental patients came with extremely violent reactions. So there was to calm them down. So with this pill, I first felt a small shivering, uh, cold um, feeling. And then after a while, I just had a stupid smile, which you can see on the last photo here, where without you know, knowing I was there six hours, I was actually with the body there when my mind was anywhere else. I don't even remember being there. So we're here in the middle of the installation and still things are not ready and far from the ready. I like these moments of uh, anxiety when things are not there and then magically, you know, things happen again. This is 76 objects here and uh, they are objects for pain and pleasure. And the here will be simple, you know, statement on the table, which is written, written zero. There are 72 objects on the table that one can use as desired. I'm an object, during this period I take full responsibility and duration is six hours. The most important object that how can far go is the pistol. I had a pistol on the table and one bullet. So that was the clear the public can use it. You can um, tickle me with a feather, but you also can stab me with a knife. <laughs> I still have even a scarf here that um, cut me with a, with a razor and then drink my blood. Small little axe, hammer, duct tape, very useful. Condoms if you want to rape me. It's a very interesting thing that Rhythm Zero, I never met anybody who participated. Uh, because I really think not because I didn't meet them, because they will not tell me that I was there, because the, the basic reaction of public after six hours, there was shame of themselves and they ran away. And uh, they, they even could not realize, they could not even explain to themselves why they went so far with me. The next work was made in the last two or three years. And the, especially the biggest part, part was made really um, the, after the MoMA show. The, the, the whole idea of the back to simplicity was born after really this long duration of work, which I felt that something had to change, that I, um, that I have to really go more into ritualization of everyday life and uh, just seeing, seeing simplicity. It's not after Van Gogh, it's just me cutting potatoes. <laughs> and uh, it's interesting here, I made this Natur Mort, Still Life, with the Russian newspaper. And this was the time when the Solzhenitsyn died, there is a Putin, there is a new, the big patriarch who died the same day. And uh, the same time I got the American newspaper with onions. And here we have a Sarah Palin maybe winning for the president. <laughs> Thanks she didn't. But this is really these two, two world power, Russia and America. And one is with potato, one with onion. And reflecting also the, some kind of my background coming from the Slavic country and going to New York. And, you know, the simplicity. Here's a really meditation on the onion. The onion for me is like a life. Like you're peeling the onion, you're peeling the layers of a life. So that's the, really for me, the very meditative piece. The idea of simplicity was so clear to me after three months of performing Artists is Present. I went to, out to the nature, to the goats, to the sheep, to the peeling potatoes, uh, cutting onions, and, and just, seeing how much power is in simplicity, which we forgot, away from glamour, fashion, and art world.